Hello and welcome back to the bottom. My name is Beast and I'm back with uh, Daitoshu Kan Uh, little warning right off the bat. There's only gonna be Shige uh, uh, Sakuraba's route today. Why? Power outage. Like there was a rather big storm brewing. So I didn't want to risk recording and it just like breaking off again and me having to re record every re-record everything so basically for how I'm gonna and if anything it's actually pretty good because now I can gauge okay how long it's gonna take is that is it worth it to do two a day then again this is already half past 10 p.m. I could have already started like 30 minutes ago but it got I got really really distracted Whoops, so yeah, uh, that's why we're here now! <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're supposed to help her ha- ha 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 Yes, we're supposed to help her out here, so let's do that. Well, maybe you can ask again once the election is over. She clears her throat and returns to her normal self. She's charming in her own way. Alright, time to distribute some flyers. Her face tightens up as she wipes the sweat off her brow. Please don't tell me there's gonna be more skipping. October 1st. How oh, quaint. And there's a skipping. Mm, be back afterwards. <laughs> so, oh, before I keep skipping, there's something I feel the need to talk about. Um, I've been watching the Mega Man Star Force anime a lot. By which I mean, I started binging yesterday. What was up until 6 a.m. Woke up 4 p.m. and kept watching. <laughs> I am now done with the first season that covers the first game, even though the story is very different from the first game. And now I'm moving on to the second game, which I actually do have the game for, so I could actually just play it if I wanted to. That being a Mega Man Star Force 2, uh, either. Zerker X Zorian or Zerker X Ninja, which both sound like really strange like, fan fictions. Like in one, a berserker decides to fuck a dinosaur, and the other, a berserker decides to fuck a ninja. So yeah, kind of weird. Also, some, also, I found it really strange that they didn't even use the, like, every single transformation. Like, I've also watched, uh, like, the Mega Man Battle Royale for, by Death Battle. Like, I, I also found it strange that they didn't use any of the other forms Geo has. Namely, being, uh, Pegasus Magic, Fire Leo, Dragon Sky, uh... Then Zerker, Ninja, Zorian, and of course, uh, Black Ace and Red Joker. So yeah. Kinda strange that they didn't use anything like that. Then again, who the fuck cares about, like, the quote-unquote ultimate forms in Mega Man Star Force 3, those being... Uh, Black Ace and Black Ace and Red Joker and Red Joker. Who would have thought? When you can just get the rogue noise form, which is so fucking overpowered. Like, all it does is, okay, you can't use Brother Bonds, which is basically, okay, uh, you get ran a random selection of six abilities to use when, when they show up in your battle card menu. Which... The only use for Brother Bonds were, like, in Mega Man 1 and 2, in order to get the special transformation. But in Mega Man 3, you start as, like, the 
standard noise form you currently have and can ha and have a chance to get the transformation into another noise form when you counter an enemy meaning uh, attack them right before they attack you so there's literally no use for brother bonds basically and of course since you can't use brother bonds the rogue form does have a uh, bonus all blade weapons deal 50 more damage. And the thing is, that in Mega Man 3, there's like a noise, there's like a noise meter up on uh, up on this side of the screen. Or was it this one? Uh, no, 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 no. It was this one. It was this one. And when it gets to a hundred and higher, you get really rare loot, but. To increase it, the best way to increase it is counter somebody with a blade weapon. So using the rogue noise form is so fucking good because you get so much loot and you deal so much more damage. Especially since all the other noise forms are basically okay, you get a 30 stab to whatever element the noise form is. And then there's just Rogue dealing 50 or I think potentially even 60? I don't remember, hold on. More damage with all blade weapons, which in Mega Man Star Force 3 are overpowered anyways. Uh, Mega Man Star Force 3. And also low-key, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest here. Uh, Sonja Strum, or however you say it in English. Rogue Noise. There we go. Rogue Noise is the secret noise change of Mega Man with unique abilities. It can be considered Mega Man empowered with... Is it the same? It cannot be stored by a noise... True to... Has no real brothers and prevents him from forming any brother bonds with other players as well. Brother bands... With in-game NPCs are in un unaffected by this noise restric noises restrictions. So even then, like, the thing is, I didn't know any other people who played it, so I couldn't even get any brother ba bands with anyone, with brother bonds with anyone else anyways. Which was kind of bullshit because it could, couldn't get, like, the king transformation in, in two. Anyways. Specifications, Crest of Mew, proof of the Mew technology that is received by tuning to Rogue Noise. The seal has been uncarved on into particular EM wave beings with unique abilities, such as destroying opponents with lock on sight and regenerating EM wave barriers that even the most cutting edge scientific techniques cannot rec uh, recreate. Uh... Okay, like these don't actually say the abilities. There we go. Mule Rejection, 1 HP barrier that regenerates each time the custom screen is accessed. Uh, Non-dimming sword cards, plus 50 attack. That yeah, was plus 50. But yeah, it's fucking over... Uh, what I'm trying to say is, it's fucking overpowered. Hmm? That is a major disadvantage for Rogue in PvP. Who the fuck cares about that? It's not a disadvantage. You still deal massive amounts of fucking damage. Anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, that was a bit of a rant. But anyways, back to skipping. <laughs> Up that. Uh, hold on, I forgot to check. Sonja Strom. What's the English name? Mega Man Star Force. Okay, it is literally just Sonja Strum. I don't know how, how to fucking pronounce that in English, though. Strum? Hold on, uh... Her. That one. Uh... Bit of a confession here, but major childhood crush of mine. Like, major, major childhood crush of mine.
So yeah, anyways, uh, there's that embarrassing confession out of the way. <laughs> and now we can go back to skipping. The skipping stopped, it's now October 3rd. It's weekend, it's the weekend, but we're all relinquishing our days off to focus on our election campaign. We're doing flat distribution and uh, meet the candidate session as usual. It's also, uh, there's also a filming session with the broadcast club scheduled. Our schedule is so packed, they should be heading straight back to the club room to help out now that the flyers have all been handed out. And I would have done just that if I didn't see a certain person waving at me from a f nearby bench. It's Savan. Oh, Sorry, I've got some stuff to take care of. Uh, can you get the rest to go on ahead first? Yeah, it shouldn't take more than na an hour. He doesn't question me any further. That's his unique ki brand of kindness for you. I make sure everyone else leaves before I head to Savan. It's fine, I'm the one who asked for an appointment in the first place. A smile, he smiles his hollow smile in the bask uh, of the evening glow. Yes, we had a stroke of luck. Our opponent messed up. That wasn't your doing, was it? He denies my question with a smile. Now that I'm aware of the existence of shepherds, it's hard to believe that they're not involved with it when a strange situation occurs. This is probably why people are better off forgetting about them. Yes, I'm hoping it will help me make my own decision. Ain't not my head for now. I won't need to become a shepherd if the election goes uh, it continues to go smoothly. But I did call him out here. I should at least hear what he has to say. Hontonara,私の話をすべきなんだろうけど. Oh no, book burning. <laughs> As to why this here, uh, I'm a German, we got a history with book burning. <laughs> Anyways, uh, enough of that joke. Dakara, what does she know? She did I know? Are you to know how she was at the moral? Whatever it's, let me tell you about an acquaintance of mine. It's always about you. Please do. Svan's acquaintance was an only child bo born into wealth. He was a gentle child, the kind who would take in an abandoned puppy and warm it in his own bed. He was mediocre in looks, smarts, and sports, but his family name and fortune made him prominent. He lived in the countryside, and every woman in the area had a thing for him. Like, like just the, his expression is enough to like see. Yeah, this is about him, isn't it? The acquaintance had his first experience with womanly charms when he was still a mere kid. The helpers at his home apparently would bring women to him two or three times a month in part to mess with him. He always chose times when his parents weren't around so that the women could bring him to a dark room and have their way with him. Ex fucking excuse me. It might be an experience to brag about for a young adult or even a teenager, but not for a mere child. He eventually enrolled into school, but the attention he received from females never let up. Throughout his life as a student, he got into relationships with several girls. In, fa in actual fact, he had no feelings of love for any of them. He just didn't know how to reject them. His popularity with the girls earned him jealousy and anger from his fellow male students. But they never showed it. They couldn't outwardly, uh, outwardly antagonize the son of a powerful family. So they relied on subtle bullying instead. Not so bad that the boy eventually refused to go to school, but his parents were too concerned about their reputation to allow him to stop was chased out of his own home every morning and driven to a, 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 driven to a corner at school every day. 
Seeing him in such a state only drove the girls to fawn over him more, which in turn drove the boys to step up their bullying. He was stuck helplessly in a vicious cycle. It's not so hopeless. ちなみに彼は未来を予知する力を持っていたみたいだね。加計君と同じような能力だよ。so I'll be an excellent shepherd as well. A wry smile forms on his lips. But I don't feel like smiling along. His tail has been giving me a bad feeling from the first minute and it's only gotten worse since. My intuition is yelling at me to stop him now. Nothing else about the story will be pleasant to my ears. But despite all that, I feel compelled to ask him to continue. So what else happened to this unlucky boy? やさしい性格だったんだろうね。彼は誰も責めなかった。それにね、彼は自分のことを普通の人間にはなれない欠陥品だと思っていたんだ。だからこそ、レシャバラス、波風を立てないように生きていた。Thomas feels like he's talking about me. His acquaintance apparently was brought up in the same environment as me. Our personalities could well be similar too. Demo. Kareni mo tatta hitori dake. Likai shiga itarashi. Ah. Osa na najimi no onna no koda yo. Shiyou nin no musume datta rashi kedo ne. Kare no mi no maari no koto o zenbu wakatte ite. Sore demo yujin de ite kure tarashi. So there was hope for him. Rashi ne. Kare wa ima demo. The acquaintance eventually escaped to the acquaintance eventually escaped the countryside and went to university in the city. Urban life brought shreds of his humanity back to him. back to him. However, his parents ordered him to return to his hometown upon his gradu graduation from the university. He was quickly employed and then married soon after. At this time, he still knew what love fe felt like was also able to pick a woman he liked from several candidates. Yet, in a completely unsurprising turn of events, the woman he married was only interested in his money. She had no intention of loving him as a wife. He would have normally accepted with he hesitation, but he chose this point to make a stand. A divorce was the, ine was the inevitable result. From then on, he went through the cycle of marriage and divorce several more times. But no matter how many times he tried, he could not find a woman who loved him. All of them would behave like the perfect partner in front of others, but become the utter definition of self-absorbed self once prying eyes had left. In fact, some of them even cheated on him with other men. One of them eventually gave birth to his child, but a child alone wasn't enough to bond the two together. Despite all that, he never gave up trying to find his true love. Based on the life he, he's led, it'd be normal for him to give up completely on women. What was he really looking for? He shows me a tiny smile and stares far into the distance. He looks far too sentimental for this to be someone else's story. He must have gotten so lost in his reminiscing that he forgot to cover it up. Each taste of failure would chip away at, ho at what hope you have until there's nothing left. So why did he keep believing? Maybe he just didn't want to face reality? Oh. Some flash comes to me. Did he see a certain future? Sh he smiles faintly. So, Karen,なぜか結婚する女性との幸せな未来ばかりが見えていた。だから、自分がうまくやれば、幸せになれると信じていたんだ。それにね。彼は自分が欠陥品じゃないと証明 He's surprisingly frank about that. でも彼の未来予知は中途半端だった。加計君もそうだろうけど、一つの未来が断片的に見えるけど。He wouldn't have known how to get to that future. He nods. 
こんなはずじゃないとずっと思っていたんだだから離婚のたびに自分を責めた自分がうまくやれば君を幸せにできた And so at this point, it's fucking obvious that Savan is Kake's dad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The father's voice echoes around, in my, around my mind. Savan's voice overlays on top of the voice in my head. If it's so well, it's creepy. Oh, why? Stared dumbfoundedly at him. Is he my father? That can't be. But nothing. His tiny smile is all I can see. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My father's voice is all I can hear. Even though it's a voice from my memory. So, what happened to him? Keep a false show of composure while trying to urge the conversation onward. And, and that's like that. And that's like the one mother Kake remembers, isn't it? He married his childhood friend and promised himself that it would be his last try. Couldn't imagine any other marriage working out if this one did not. They did indeed have a strange sort of love between them. The relationship they formed was the most substantial that he had ever experienced. But the end result remained the same. The relationship with his childhood friend was on the brink. He couldn't live with himself anymore and ran away from everything he had. He pondered suicide while wandering the streets. And that was when he was scouted as a potential shepherd. Why did he why did he decide why did he decide to become a shepherd? I still need to find a way to download the entire soundtrack for this fucking game. He speaks solemnly. I see. He had people who he wanted to make happy in the past, but he failed to do so. And he let his hopes fade away. He probably chose to be a shepherd to make up for all those failures. Sounds far too nice. Yes, quiet. Is this person still a shepherd? May I speak to him face to face? I stare straight into his eyes as I ask. Pause for a moment before replying with a smile. That's a pity. Her eyes meet, but he soon looks away as if shielding his eyes from the sun. Yeah, he has to be. He has to be my father. I have no proof, but the more proof, but the more I think about it, the more certain I get. Everything he told me is consistent with what I heard from my father. It would also explain why my memory of my father have been resurfacing recently. But if he is my father, what should I do? My father. The reason why my life turned out the way it did. If I recall correctly, his name was. Asahiko Kake. He never protected me from abuse. So my body covered in bruises, and all he did was apologize. How many times did I wish for my father to be more normal? Yet all the anger from back then isn't boiling over now. In fact, it feels more like a simmer at low heat. I've forgotten of him for so long, I don't really feel much about it anymore. So there's another aspect of becoming a shepherd. My memories of him must have vanished once he chose to become a shepherd. My mother probably went through the same thing too. This words replay themselves in my mind. That's right, he abandoned it all. Something in my chest starts to flicker. Emotions start to swell inside of me. It's not anger or sadness at him ignoring my plight. It's far more stirring than that. He went through all those hardships, and he thought it'd be all fine if my mother and I forgot about him. He thought abandoning it all would settle everything. 
I can feel my body temperature rising by the second. His voice brings me back to my senses. It caught me absorbed in my thoughts, apparently. Do you regret becoming a shepherd? My own question makes me tense up. He replies in the negative. It wouldn't be essential to reaffirming that he made the right choice by abandoning me. I don't even know why I ask that question now. But I want him to say that he regrets his choice. Would that make a small part of me still able to attain salvation? Usually he wears a tepid smile on his face, but this time his pure smile makes it obvious how much he meant it. I knew it was coming, but it still feels so cold. The wind had been, has been taken from my sails. I, uh, see. Does that make my, my mother and I to him? I feel like a fool for even devoting any kind of brain power to the past. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Bow politely, then turn my back to him. At least punch him. I make sure I'm out of his sight before lowering myself onto the curb. Matt is all jumbled up and it's giving me a headache. But I can't stop thinking about my father, my mothers, or myself. It all feels like a steaming pot about to boil over. I need to rest and clear my head before I go back to the club room. October 4th. Back to skipping? Question mark? Not back to skipping. It's the start of the week! Election day on Friday looms large. The issue with Savan has left me in turmoil, but the election has been the exact opposite. It's been smooth sailing since the mid-election results, and support for Shizaki keeps coming in. At this rate, I really might be able to pull it off. After classes. Now back to skipping! <laughs> I know me going back laughing <laughs> to this image is <laughs> kind of strange, but hear me out. I literally just look back to social media while waiting for the, sk the skip, and I just see a post finding out that lionesses have sex 20 to 40 times a day <gasps> when they're in heat, and if her man can't keep up with her, she demands to mate by biting his balls has been the highlight of my day. And then underneath, it's just... <laughs> just hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck. I got the hiccups. Help. <laughs> Look at his fucking face. <laughs> Look at the face of this man! Oops! Look at the face of this man! <laughs> he is in true despair! <laughs> he is in absolute true despair! Oh fuck! Here comes... Uh... Vision of the future, now of all times. I don't know why it came back from skipping at this point. <coughs> at this point. Everyone's back is turned to me. They all look depressed. What happened to the election? What happened to the fl oh, to the library club? What happened to us? The vision alone doesn't tell me any details. But one thing for sure, the end result is despair. There's one future I could have done without seeing. One more time. I want to see the future one more time. But just show me the path to a happy ending. That's right. I passed the test to be a shepherd. I definitely have the capability to do this. I lose myself in everyone's gazes again. The endless bookshelves. The books with all the world's knowledge within them. Reading them would allow me to know everything about everyone. Most importantly, it'll give us a way out of this mess. One of the countless books, seem books seems to be glowing. That must be the one. 
We can't find our happy ending as long as I can... We can find our happy ending as long as I can read that book. May not have proof, but I still have to do it. Take one step f toward the book. Sensation similar to electricity runs through my head. One more step. Arrgh! Each step I take makes the atmosphere that much more crushing. My f legs feel as heavy as lead. Beyond here is the territory of shepherds. There's no place for humans. That's right. It's as if the library itself is rejecting my advance. By that, I force myself forward by another step. Savant's figure appears amidst the haze. The edges of his mouth begin to move. Damn! One more step. This feels like walking through a sea of tar. My legs aren't moving anymore. But the book is so close, it's almost within, almost within my grasp. A sharp pain brings me back to my senses. Didn't work. Only my power is that bit stronger. If only I was a shepherd, I would have been able to get my hands on that book and save everyone. Everyone, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't you go doing the same shit as your dad. Everyone's peering into my eyes. They're all down in the dumps. That they're being considerate for good for nothing like me. I'm not even be and I'm not even gracious enough to grasp their helping hand. I don't want them I want to, them to hurt I want I don't want to hurt them anymore. If I become a shepherd, they'll all forget about me. But I'll be able to favor any one person over others again. Time would have no more meaning to me. No one would be able to reach me. The alarm bells in my head keep ringing. I have no time to bother with them anymore. I can't stand seeing everyone in pain. I'll be able to find a way to reverse the situation once I become a shepherd. I'll do whatever I can. That's all that matters. All I want is for them to smile again. Perhaps this is what it means to wish for the happiness of others. It's become important enough for me to stop caring about the consequences. The sensation of pain born from sadness somehow feels pleasant. He's like I've thrown myself into the vast unknown. Now that I think about it, my father chose the path to becoming a, to become a shepherd after experiencing this feeling. I can see him in a different light now. Tomorrow. I think I can make a decision tomorrow. The voice comes out of my mouth. The voice coming out of my mouth doesn't sound like my own anymore. Oh, my head is itching. It's slightly red. Her decision is our, our decision is put on hold for now. Everyone stands up and excuses themselves for their various reasons. Oh, nice! Back to skipping. The skipping is done again. I, however, did wait a bit because I was very much. Uh, Entranced by the music because it's the best soundtrack. Hey, Takamina. I started talking to Takamina, who was walking beside me. She's giving us give him a simple explanation at least. I have a plan in mind. Huh? None you. What about about to say may sound absurd, but I'm being serious here, so please don't laugh and hear me out. New guy. Dozo. He replies with his hands firmly in his pockets. I'm acquainted with a shepherd. Huh. He does a double take. You may not believe me, but I'm telling the truth. Do you remember what happened on the first day of the Shiomi Festival? When we fixed that fence and prevented an accident from occurring occurring in the library? My shepherd acquaintance told me about it in passing. His eyes are wide open in shock. Yep, sorry for keeping quiet about it. No, it's a different one, though. Can't give him the full details, so I'll keep it short and simple. Oh, it's a gotcha sailor! No, no, that's a different one. That's uh, that. Uh, I, uh, that's another one. I I know her as well. Wait, her? Forget about that one. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking of getting in, of getting his advice on how to get our cl club room back. A shepherd should know how to resolve everything happily. Ma, so na. Oshite kure nara, oshite moratta hoga iwa na. Yeah, demo. Majde. 
That is, he folds his arms and thinks. So, don't worry, I won't be attending any LGAT programs. What the fuck are LGAT program programs? Large group awareness training. Uh huh. He's not letting it go. His intuition is as good as ever. I'll be fine. He doesn't look satisfied, but he knows he has no reason to object either. I'll have something ready by tomorrow by tomorrow's meeting. Why does it feel like I fucked up the choice and I'm no not on Sakuraba's route, but like the shepherd route? Which sounds like I, which sounds like Kake has gotta do it with Savan, but that's not what I mean. Anyway. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'll fulfill them. He still looks somewhat worried, so I manufacture a smile to try and ease his mind. See you tomorrow. No. Oh, it's correct. Sneeze. We exchange goodbyes as usual. I'm hit with a sudden impulse to turn around and look behind me, but it passes quickly enough. Turn that down to one. With my bath finished, I changed it to a fresh Yomi Academy uniform. It's a distinction between my old and new self. Besides, I'm not just going to disappear entirely. I can clean up the rest of my room la later. Now then, it's time to give Savannah a call. My phone displays a bulging list of missed calls. Looks like everyone tried to call me at least twice each. Also, I think I can... Understand why people feel so attached to their phones now. My phone was little more than an alarm clock before I joined the library club. Now, a mere skim of the call history makes me feel connected to all of them. I don't feel nearly as resolved as I did a minute ago. My fingers move on their own, manipulating the phone to open my email inbox. Countless emails reveal themselves before my eyes. Chilling poor jokes from Shirazaki. The polite and serious emails from Sakuraba. The acidic yet strangely enjoyable insults from Misono. The completely bizarre stories from Kanasuke. The short and to the point notes from Takamine. I treasure each and every one of them. The proof of, proof of my link to the library club members is to distrust other people and throw myself into books. Uh, into books. Only conversations felt like a chore. But looking at this now, I really have changed. Might well be something close to a real human now. Alright. That's enough of a sentimentality. Time to call Savan. Suddenly the doorbell rings. Now of all times. I guess it's Kodachi. Whatever the case, I'll just ignore it. There it goes again. Ignore, ignore. Two soft strikes and my door catches my attention. It is the Sakuraba route. Also, why is suddenly the serious business music playing that makes me goddamn depressed every single fucking time because it fucking played? What kind of cried? <clears throat> <clears throat> it's Sakuraba. I'm okay. I'm I'm totally calm. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm 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 completely fine. Completely fine. Mm. Why did they have to do that? They didn't. They didn't show Sindri crying Kuro's route. Why did they have to show Kuro crying Sindri's route? Mm. I'd, I'm, I'd be surprised if anyone actually understood what the fuck I said there. Anyways, it's Sakuraba. Wasn't she having a sleepover party at Misona's place? Won't answer. I can't answer. Another strike on the door. <laughs> Yeesh. She's 
got good intuition. I walk towards the door and start to speak through it. That's not the case. Sorry, I can't. I'm a bit of cold. Can it? Can it wait for tomorrow? So persistent. I'm busy reading. Withdrawal symptoms kicked in. I'm not thinking any about anything. That guy... Shouldn't have said a word of this to Takamina. That future he saw is the future that happens when he actually does become a shepherd, isn't it? Like, sure, they're gonna have the club room back. But Kake was an essential part of everyone's lives. I mean, the girls all freaking love him. So of course this entity suddenly be being gone will lo leave a fucking gaping hole in them. So him becoming a shepherd is actually the, ex the action that causes that future to come to pass. That's the case, isn't it? That is so the fucking case. I swear by it. Anyways. Don't you fucking make Sakuraba cry! I... Everything was displaced. And I do mean everything. Jesus Christ. I think I I I, I, <laughs> I think dear near uh, dear Nezuko here even did a little jump. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I think I, I think I got a bit too uh, aggressive there. <laughs> Anyways, don't you fucking dare make a cry, bastard! Sakuraba, thinking about it, why am I going for like the true routes for the two best girls first? Isn't <laughs> that usually the stuff that you save for last? <laughs> Think about it, like, out of the, all the characters, while sure I still like Senlady, I like her the least out of everyone, yet she's going to be the last one I play, so she's basically gonna be like the last memory of this game. <laughs> Kinda hilarious, isn't it? Anyways, Grava, the memories of a certain day replay itself in the back of my mind. On that day, my father uttered a word of apology, then disappeared. My final mother and myself were left behind. It felt so empty back then. It's not like I was hoping he'd turn around and come back to us. But seeing his back slowly disappear into the setting sun felt like the final string between him and me was eternally severed. Does that mean I'm going to make Sakuraba go through the same thing? Okay. <laughs> Mm. That's so not fair. For all people, I never expected her to use tears to get her away. She's sitting on the floor, looking utterly drenched and exhausted. Sneak a glance behind her, the shade of night shines with the raindrops of a light shower. We're soaked. She looks up at me with red eyes and the innocent smi smile of a child. Her wet black hair sticks to her skin, making its paleness that much more evident. I'm 
体がどうにもならなくなるくらい家計が好きなんだ。Let's just start a sound. Sound of the thick shell around me breaking into pieces. <sighs> That's just m e a n I kneel down in front of her and embrace her shivering body with my own. Crying your eyes out and confessing in front of our apartments. What else can I even do? Whoops, she cares so much about me. From what I heard from the shepherd test, I thought I was perfectly capable of staying aloof from everyone else. I have been preaching equality for all, but it seems like I can't quite back my thoughts up with my actions. That you are. She entwines her arms around my back. Bring her head to my chest tenderly. Her hair feels so cold. Yet the skin below it exudes such warmth. So this is what a person feels like. Beings I feared for so long can feel so pleasant. Okay. I won't. It would be hopeless if I leave you alone, so I won't. She hugs me firmly. Her embrace warms me down to my soul. Kurachi would surely shake her head and sigh at the sight. Well, speak of the devil. <laughs> just, just her popping up out of nowhere, like, hi! Grouchy comes walking down the corridor and passes us by without a word. Her eyes meet for a split second. She smiles as、uh, she silently points at me with a grin while entering her apartment. So Grouchy asks in confusion.、Uh, um, you, you must be hearing things. She sighs in relief. People can see us here. Come on in for now. I lift her to her feet and lead her into my apartment. Close the door behind us as quickly as possible. There's a soft reddish tint in her cheeks. Turn it to two again. Oh, why is it so hot as of late? I hate this. That's the same for me. Someone did actually, the worst possible person at that. But things will get complicated and annoying if I say so, so I won't. Where? She flashes on a shirt, smile at me, despite being a blubbering mess just a few minutes ago. Yeah, let's go. Also, I'm gonna be real disappointed if there's actually gonna be sex scenes in this because I. There's like. Actually, there's four more CGs for every true route, so that's probably gonna be like two C, normal CGs and two sex scene CGs. <sighs> On the way back, I asked about what happened after I parted ways with everyone. A lot happened in the space of an hour, apparently. Another view! A mere hour ago, the female brigade in Misuma's room、uh, has a surprise guest inside. None other than Takam-、uh, Takamine. Kakei-kun, you're a friend of the Hitsuji Kai? Yes. I'm going to go to the house and get the house. I'm going to go to the house. The girls were still down from losing their club room, but Takamine's tail was enough to make them lift their heads. Oh, my God. I'm going to go to the house. 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 それを教えてくれたのが知り合いの羊飼いなんだとそんなことは否定しても仕方ないだろうで高峰は何が言いたい高峰 looks over the girls and turn 俺だけに打ち明けてきたのが引っかかるんだ
羊飼いに話をしに行くだけなら俺たち全員に言えばいいなるほど家計が自分のアイディアに自信があるなら私たちを元気づけるためにも全員に伝えるだろうな。逆に自信がないなら高峰にも言わないだろう。高峰の point of view、if you have a plan that can pull everyone out of this problem, it would be, certainly be best to declare it on the spot. That alone will be enough to give everyone to.、Uh, give everyone hope to.、Uh, to give hope to everyone! Ah!、Oh! There we go! But if you don't know if you can pull off the plan off, pull the plan off perfectly, then you would probably work it in or work on it alone until you have the better i have a better idea of how it pan out. I think that's a good idea. 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 I think that's a 私たちには話せないことがあったか。Sakura's face instantly hardens. どういうこと話したら、私たちに止められると思ったのかもしれない。例えば、大金を要求されるとか、ともかく、私たちが聞いたら止めることだ。そんな、どうして相談もしないで。それってあれじゃないですかここは食い止めるからお前たちは行けみたいなまさかそんなことするわけいや関係ならやりかねないアグミーナ quickly draws the female brigade's full attention 俺が言うのもなんだけどあいつはバカだから器用に見えて人一倍不器用だし、図書部のこと大事にして。Everyone sounds shows their agreement. All of them had worried about how distant Kake could be. He may seem friendly on the surface, but he doesn't let anyone get too close. They've all been in the same club for over a half a year, and he never went to anyone to talk about any of his personal issues. He always made sure to maintain a certain distance from everyone, no matter what. The girls have been. Have now been served a timely reminder of the uneasiness of his behavior. Then what? So you don't want to say that? Yazaki immediately reaches for her phone. Don't you? Then I know. What does she look at me? Suzuki shakes her head. No one feels like twiddling their thumbs and waiting. They all call Kake in turn. I doesn't pick any, up any of their calls. Their faces grow darker by the second. They might just be letting their imaginations run around wild, but his behavior up till now only adds fuel to the fire. If that oppression leads to him making alarming decisions, I can't be even bear to think about the regret they would feel. Sakaba dashes to the entrance way. あんな桜庭先輩、初めて見たかも。たまもちゃん、頑張って。たかみんな smiles warmly as he stares at the now shut door。たく、うらやましいこった。another view end。They completely saw through me, apparently. That damn Takamina always sticking his nose in to do the right thing. Couldn't ask for a better friend. We eventually reached the front of Misona's apartment. Are you sure? Fine. I reach for the doorknob. I can feel my body temperature rising from the nerves and embarrassment. They are very angry. Even he is angry. Oh no. 
Even Giza is angry! Even oh no -er. I don't know why I said that. Everyone stares straight at me. They all look pissed. I'm sorry. Jizasaki lets out a little snort. いくら<笑> No. Takamina simply sneaks a glance at me and smiles. Something fi filling, there's something filling up in my chest. It feels so warm. I've never experienced this feeling before. Sir, yeah, that's what I say, but I don't move an inch. Or rather, I can't. So overcome that. It's all I can do to keep myself standing. Oh, still. What was I thinking? Ora. So Kurabo gently pushes me from behind. I sit down in the center of the circle, formed by the bodies of everyone else. Looking at their faces once more brings that warm feeling to my chest again. I was born with it. It was not Maybelline. In fact, I'm gritting my teeth and doing my hardest to solidify my face expression. <laughs> like a wreck otherwise. Yeah, everyone hands their, hangs their head in shame at my reply. None of you are to blame. It's natural given what happened to, to our club room. Takamina slaps me on the back. When our club room was stolen for most of the people around me were all lifeless. But now vitality has returned to everyone's eyes. This is what I wanted all along. My mind harkens back to the vision I saw this evening at the cafeteria. The vision where everyone looked da so downcast and sad. That might well have been the future where I put my grandstand play into the action. Exactly! Actually, there's no might here, I'm certain that was it. <laughs> so Krabba's back to her usual self. We all exchange glances and nod. うん、エッチ。部室がなくたって活動はできます。図書部長いられなくなったって新しい部活を作ればいいじゃないですか。でも、その部活や部室がなくても私たちは仲間だ。何を何なら卒業したってそれは変わらない。Sona <笑> suppresses a giggle。相変わらず桜庭先輩は臭いセリフが好きですね。悪いか？いいえ、すっごく好きです。選挙やりましょう。Sona shows us a broad smile。かけいくんはどうかな？今更だけど。Izaki peers at me questioningly. I don't even need to give it a second thought. Clubs or club rooms don't matter to me. Not like I can spare any time to read once you folks are in the picture anyway. I can't believe I'm hearing that from Kanasuke of all people. I just gotta really want him to just like pull out his phone, dial up Savan's number, put it on the speaker, put it in the middle of the fucking room. Hey Savan, I won't be becoming Shepard. Everyone around him just like, hold up. What did he just fucking say? Excuse me. It's hot. 
Ah! Is my face red? I feel like my face is red. The only reason why it's not proper red is because there's a slight blue coming from the screen. I don't know why it's coming from actually. There's nothing blue on the screen right now. That's fucking weird. Anyways, uh. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, uh, put that back. Takamine flies in a straight line across the club room. I didn't know the laws of gravity could be broken so easily. This isn't the club room, though. じゃあ、今夜のうちに物質から必要な荷物を選挙に必要なものを優先的に運ぼう。高峰先輩、力仕事ですよ。遊んでないでください。本当、人使い荒いよね。So Takamine says as he rotates his arm with joy. I have to keep up too. All right, I'll show the power of a true library club member. 期待しないでおきます。We all get to our feet. We're definitely up for this. みんな、最後まで頑張っていこう。Everyone's cheers and ripples. Uh, everyone's cheers send ripples throughout Misona's apartment. Oh, too bad. Green Body Road is over. October 5th, by the way. Campaign battle has officially started today. Uh, we've designated Misona's apartment as our election headquarters. And now it's time to give our last push to secure votes. Which includes a refinement of our usual flyer distribution. Shirasaki Actually, in this route, I will officially eat a shoe. If they still allow Takigawa to be in the fucking student council afterwards. By the way, I'm not I'm not serious about this. It's, it's so gonna be that scene earlier where he was uh, in Kodachi's route where he was calling Kodachi Kodachi instead of Nagi. Like, that scene is gonna be like a copy, carbon copy scene between all routes, isn't it? Anyways, everyone's energetic and cheerful. A far cry from the despondency that was rampant yesterday. The hostile takeover of our club room has already made the news. Reactions are mixed so far, but they're showing ourselves still can. But we're showing ourselves still campaigning with passion. That should turn the situation into our favor. Hey, Takamina. Uh huh? Thanks. You didn't tell anyone what happened yesterday. I uh. Maguro Gyosen ni demo notte taka. Something like that. I suppose so. His verbal jabs actually put my mind at ease. He's infected me too much. His hand reaches for my waist and undoes the ribbon holding my maid costume together before I can react. That! Ah! I'm left trying to hold the remains together and showing plenty of skin meanwhile. I'm going to end your life! Takamina, you asshole! I'm stopped my tracks. Ah, oh, God, Takamina, you're such a perv! I'm going to fucking annihilate you. Oh, this is in the Kodachi route where they say, shouldn't we have 
nominated Kodachi because she decided to show up in the fucking swimsuit of all things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Screw all of you stuff for that. Hi, right, Kodachi! Kodachi appears just as we're finishing up. As blunt as ever. Yeah. Kodachi averts her eyes. Two people whisper to each other at the side. What's up? Oh, yes. Kodachi folds her arms. Ooh, intriguing. Kodachi fends off Kanasuke's attempted hugs. Kodachi gives a little wave goodbye and starts to leave. I never thought it could be, yeah, she could be this considerate and this dishonest about it. I mean, it's literally the same thing her, uh, as Takamine. Yeah. They see Kodachi off while yelling like a bunch of supporters in a stadium. Yamenka! Off she runs. They've got some seriously creepy smiles on their faces. Eh. October 7th. Seventh of October, Thursday. Back to skipping, apparently. Nice. Okay, I, I, okay. I think there's like a single, singular line that's different because the club, the library club, is not in there anymore. Uh. Oops, maybe I should trust. Zen Seitokai Fukai Chou no Takigawa Aoi san to Toshobu. Ori. Naze ka Buchou Shikaku Deishu Chou no Shirasaki Tsugumi san desu. So he's all a breeze through our situation by passing it off as a light-hearted joke, thankfully. That may have been her way of showing her support. Back to skipping. Oh hey, we're back. Uh, keep it short, please. She glares at me. The hatred in her eyes is evident. Oh, back to skipping, apparently. It's probably not gonna be much, though. It's more than I expected. Back to... Oh not. That would be very helpful. Besides, we should be thanking you. We'd have lost the election by a landslide if it wasn't for your leak. Back to skipping. That wasn't even a fucking second of skipping! That's the club room matter settled at least. Now that I think about it, the club room incident was a major turning point for me. Mochizuki would have been just been her disciple doing going wild but for me it would change changed my life that's no exaggeration there's so many points in this person's life which can lead to definitely to a diff, entirely diff, to entirely different futures I don't need a shepherd to tell me that for sure but enough navel gazing back to skipping that was even less of a fucking skip I glance in the direction of the academy dorms, setting sun bathes the central plaza with a scarlet glow. Ah, what a terrible color. It's exactly the sa like the sunset of that fateful day. His turn, that, his back that turned to me. That horrible unreli horribly unreliable flimsy looking back. The back that he turned to me, a dull lifeless back, only given a sheen of vitality by the rays of the setting sun. Perhaps I should have been glad to see the back of him. But I still wonder what he was trying to accomplish that day. 
ごめんね僕たちは幸せになれたはずなんだごめんな僕は君たちを幸せにしてあげられなかったごめんなごめんごめん僕がもっと The leaves of the surrounding trees rustle The early autumn wind blows even in the depths of my memories. My mind suddenly flashes back to my mother on the day of his disappearance. There she was, sitting on a chair by herself, hunched over at a dining table, with the setting sun seemingly setting the kitchen around her ablaze. She had a cup of tea in front of her, but her hand would never reach for it. The bright smile that used to be ever present on her face was no more. Her expression was frozen pale in a sea of red. I couldn't help but feel sorry for her. But there was nothing I could do. Nothing could say. Just continued staring at the scene, even forgetting the, to blink. Felt like if I dared to blink, she would no longer be there when I opened my eyes again. Father, is this really what you wanted to do? Was it your goal to turn a bright and cheerful woman into a broken husk of a person? No, you're not. I didn't want to apologize to my mother or to myself at all. I've come far enough to know that what my mother felt back then. I've come far enough to know what my mother felt back then. What I felt back then too. We didn't want that happy ending that my father saw in his visions. All he wanted was to stay together and aim for happiness. Would have been undoubt there would have undoubtedly been problems on the way, and maybe it would have ended badly. We just wanted to experience it together. It was an extremely Typical wish that any family would have, but he didn't understand that. He had been betrayed too many times to be able to grasp the idea. But, uh, furthermore, his ability to see random pieces of futures probably led to him losing the ability to, th to think like a normal person. I believe that he, f I believe he felt that everyone's happiness was dead to him. The better he was at his job, the happier everyone would be, which made him overwhelmed by misplaced guilt when things didn't turn out as he planned. Didn't turn out as planned. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. His growing sense of guilt and pile of apologies eventually led to him abandoning, abandoning his family and choosing the path to bring happiness to all of mankind. What nonsense. Didn't even make, make his own family happy. I didn't even think he could do so for others. I don't think anyone would fault me if I socked him one. Yeah, do it! But I still feel pity for him at the same time. He wanted happiness for his family, so much that he gave up his humanity for it. it. May well have been the only way for him to find salvation. But to look at it another way, now that he's given up on his humanity, it has nothing to do with the family he cared so much for. Everyone has forgotten about him. He continues existing only to hope to be helpful to other people and their families. Does he really have anything right now? How despairing. One misstep and I've taken the night have taken this very same path. It's only because everyone at the library club was there for me. That was something my father never had. Father. I won't become a shepherd. The reasons are simple. I have friends who will walk with me down the path of life. And I have someone who I treasure above all else. Even if all that awaits is pain and happiness, sadness, I will continue to stay with the people who need me. The people who I need. I'm sure it'll be more fun that way. October 8th. Election day is finally here. The old day is reserved for the students to submit their votes. It takes a while to count the votes as well. There are 50 thousand students to account for after all. You'll know the results by around 8 p.m. tonight. But I have things to do before the results poll uh, roll around. Name need to put the shepherd business to bed. My appointment with Savan is at 5.30 p.m. That's when I tell him my decision. Our club room has returned to uh, well, well has returned was returned to us at 9 a.m. just as Mochizuki promised. We're also back to being official members of the club. The club members and name have returned to mere letters on a piece of paper. We've since been busy bringing our stuff from Misono's room back and restoring our club room to its former glory. We eventually finish at 4 p.m. Ah, 
She's almost sitting on a, her chair with her knees up, as usual. She's in a good mood. Sona hurriedly pushes her skirt down. <laughs> Takamine folds his arms and closes his eyes. Oops. Sona starts dabbing insect repellent lotion on Takamine's closed eyes. That's a... <laughs> Takamina starts writhing in agony. Looks like quite a bit of cream got into his eyes. I remember when I used the same method to keep me awake for my 27 hour reading marathon. Don't ever try this at home, kids. Sun starts to set. It's almost time to meet up with Savan. I'm going out for a bit. I rise from my seat. Nothing big. Try to smile the details away. Yeah, it'll be fine. They all look so worried. I answer with a smile, hoping that it gets my message across. That I'll never make them sad again. Glow setting sun paints the entire academy in burning scarlet. This color again. I grip Savan's bookmark tightly. I'm going to tell him that I won't be a shepherd. Which means I won't see him again. Probably forever. And even my, if we do meet again, I won't remember him anyway. That's the path my father chose. I feel like I should say something, but I don't know what. There are feelings of resentment within me, but some of compassion too. I spent the whole of last night awake, thinking of what to say. But I came up empty-handed. Just don't have any clear emotion about the whole matter. And maybe that's the best way to describe our, our relationship. I exit the central plaza and head towards the meeting place. I would normally have taken the strain there, but I felt like walking today. The heavy crimson-tinted atmosphere battles me as I press forward step by step. Somehow, this feels like swimming against the flow of time. Back to the day where my father left. I may well have regrets from that day. This would be the chance to redo it. But if that's the ch case... What would I say to him now? I stop in my tracks. My shadow looms over a bench like a dark stain. There sits Savan and notes by the passing students as if he were a pebble on the pavement. I stand stock still for several seconds. He eventually notices me in waves. Sorry for taking up your time. Yeah. かまわないよ。将来について返事をくれるということだったけど、いいのかい約束の期限は月曜日だよ。でもにとはいたらラングはメイドアップマインド。君が後悔しないのなら、私はいつでも構わないけど。でもにとはいたらラングはメイドアップ
raises opposing opinions softly but firmly. Other people can fend for themselves. I want to concentrate on the people around me. Actually, that's not quite right. I don't even know if I can make the people around me happy. After disagree, the tone of my voice hardens. You don't get it. That's not how it is. Have you really not learned? Even after all the sign. It's not about what happens at the end. I just want to be with them always. I'm sure it'll end up being more fun for everyone. So. So Based on the way he speaks, I don't think he believes that. He told me about another shepherd before, remember? I think he should have stayed with his final wife and did the best he could. I look straight into his eyes. That smile of his never changes. Is he really my father? I'm starting to be less and less certain. He's starting to get talkative, and it's starting to make me feel coldly agitated. What am I trying to do? Do I want him to I want to argue him down? I can regret the choices he made back then. Is that really the case? This may just be my imagination, but I don't think that person bothered to discuss the matter with his family. I suppose he let it fester in his mind and brood alone about it. I've done the same thing before. So are you saying he wasn't despair at his inability to attain the results he desired? Emotions start welling up in my chest. I thought the anger towards my father disappeared long ago, but apparently I'm just it's just lurking deep within. That's wrong. Your thinking is warped. My mother. Your final wife didn't want a happy ending. She just wanted to be with you. She was your childhood friend, correct? The one and only person who knew all the faults you had. That doesn't matter anymore. I've had enough of this roundaboutness. I face his unyielding smile and finally let it out. Why? Why'd you go off by yourself? You couldn't bring happiness to your family, so you abandoned humanity to become a shepherd? Sheer madness. Do you really think that decision would make anyone happy? In the end, you didn't even have a thought to spare for the family you left behind. You left behind. That's wrong. It would have been better keeping off, uh, better off keeping what you what made you human. All you needed to do was utter one line. And we should all stick together, th stick th through this together. That alone would have resolved it. Don't you understand? Why don't you get it? Maybe we couldn't have been the happiest family ever. But we could have at least been together. I can't believe the words that are pouring out of my mouth. The emotions that once felt so alien to me are now bleeding from every pore of my body. It's taken ten long years. But I finally realized I revealed the feelings I had at the pit of my stomach back then. I wanted to live my life together with you. My vision starts to blur. Tears drop to the pavement. Father. Why did you abandon me? Why did you... My chest hurts. Thought I'd lost the ability to feel pain under the countless forms of abuse I suffered from the helpers. But it's back with the vengeance today! <sighs> the pain I'm feeling right now. It's nothing like the pain from violence or from insults. I could feel it all over me. Uh, I get it now. So this is sadness. Eh, yeah. he's staring wistfully at the autumn sky. At least he looks a little sad. I really don't know what I would have done if he still had a sm smile glued to his face. But if I don't see. He still won't acknowledge it. It was always too late. He already cut himself off from his path com past completely. Can't even master the cries of his son anymore. 
It's no use trying to communicate the true meaning of love to him. Our relationship ended a long time ago. Though by his reaction, it might still be possible that he really is my father. The thought makes my body go limp. My heart's growing colder by the second. It's not particularly valuable. I, continue, I slowly raise myself off the bench. The manufactured smile on my face right now is undoubtedly the exact same as his own. It's just common sense, for normal people anyway. But to be fair, I only re learned it recently. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit of a failure, but it did get through to me eventually. I have everyone in the library club to thank for that. He continues to smile. I am. So I continue to live my life with them. I've said it again and again. That's why I won't become a shepherd. He nods, uh, he's quietly nods. I'm sure he used to be, used to be, actually. We observe each other, ask about how they're doing. And we observe others, ask about how they're doing, search for the right words, and hate causing trouble. People say we're good at detecting people's moods, and that we're too nice sometimes. In actual fact, we've just never truly interacted with humans, so we're scared of them. But I've changed, and I'll continue to change as I go. At the very least, I won't go back to where you are now. I stare straight into his eyes, showing him my resolution to make this our final farewell. He lowers his head slightly and closes his eyes, perhaps fully digesting my intentions. <laughs> A fleeting smile flickers on his face. It feels like he really means that smile. Oh, that might just be the conceited hope it's hopes inside me speaking. それじゃ、名残惜しいけど、羊飼いの話はこれで終わりにしよう。今をもって君は羊飼いになる権利を喪失する。I nod. He does the same in return. That's fine. Oh yeah, I do. I need to return this to you. I take the bookmark from my pocket and hand it to him. I'll probably forget about him a few days after I let go of this bookmark. It won't be a mere farewell. He. My father will certainly cease to exist in this world for me. But even so, returning to this bookmark is something I must do. He takes the bookmark from me. Such pale and well away fingers. Fingers you'd expect to see more on a mother than a father. Has he ever touched me with this hand? If he has, I certainly don't remember it. I suppose that's a good summary of our relationship. He slowly lifts himself up, lifts himself to his feet. Seems to be stuck in slow motion while the rest of the world moves on. He shows one of his usual smiles before turning his back on me. I've seen this before. It's a perfect replication of the evening my father left. He's limping as he walks away slowly. Looks like he has trouble with his right leg. Certain memory surfaces from the sea of forgetfulness and into my mind. That's right. My father. As Aiko Kake had the same problem. Which means... Now that I think about it, it's the first time I've seen him walking. Maybe he was afraid to reveal himself to me. Then... Why show it to me at the very end? If you want to reveal what he knows, then why not tell me to my face? Then again, he's a father who couldn't do that from the start. Is that why he waited until the very end to do this? He's most likely saved lots of people. If he hadn't invited me to the Library of Magic when I was a kid, I might have ended up even more broken than I did. If he didn't invite me to become a shepherd, I might have remained the lonesome person I was a month ago. He's been guiding me by showing the bad examples that I shouldn't follow. It's awfully late to try and make up for what he did back then. But it's like, but it's just like him to do it still. Time always keeps moving forward. 
We can't go back to being father and son again. Which means them. This is his final legacy to me. His first and last paternal act. Sorry for the last time, huh? He continues walking. He drags his right leg along with each step forward, as if dragging the burden of life with him. Same leg that he injured in after that accident. He didn't get his leg healed when he became a shepherd. Perhaps it's his way of showing that he was a human at one point. Wait, accident? I didn't know that he was involved in an accident. Oh, I know. Because so did myself. These very eyes. That's right. On that day, I was saved. The car was hurtling toward me, and he saved me. Kyotaro! Kega wa nai ka? My hand's just a little scratched. So ka. Your leg's bleeding. Gomen na. Motto hayaku ugoke tereba. Kega nan ka sase nakatta no ni. Fine, but you gotta. Gomen na. Kou naru to wakatte ita no ni. Kega sase te. Gomen na. Gomen na. Gomen na. Shouldn't be saying sorry, father. You gotta treat this fast. The protectiveness of his tall frame, the heat from the palm of his hand, the warmth of his little smile. Most of all, the first time I called him father. Why did it take me so long to remember? Why did I finally remember it now? He's going to disappear. He'll limp his way into the distance and disappear into the evening sun. I'll never see him again, not even my memories. It won't just be me. It won't be just me either. No one will remember him as a person, or as a f as a father. Father. Why am I supposed? Why am I? What am I supposed to do? What would I have left? What would I have left of him? But still, he never stops wobbling towards the path leading to eternal solitude. Father, a gargled word leaves my throat. Said it so rarely, feels like speaking an alien word. FATHER! He stops in his tracks, and stays completely unmoving like a stone statue. I hate you. But thank you. Thank you for guiding me. I am... I'm happy now! FATHER! He's not there anymore. I remember what I shouted at the end. I just dredged up whatever was lurking in the depths of my heart and let it all out. But he's gone. The bench no longer retains any of his warmth. He'll vanish from my memories within a week. But he'll still keep walking. Forever and ever. All by himself. Remembered by none. And all the while wishing for the happiness of mankind. And for myself and my mother's father. The saying the word spreads a little bit of feeling throughout my chest. Did you hear my final words? Did I manage to make his journey a little bit brighter? No one can answer my questions, but he raised his right hand at the very end. That's all I can believe in. The... I catch a glimpse of a little piece of paper fluttering in the wind. I instinctively reach out to grab it. It's the bookmark I returned to my father. Did he drop it? Not it can't be. Must have let it go when he raised his right arm just now. He let, it, he let it dance with the wind, believing that it'll find its way back to me. Father... I grasp his bookmark gently. I think I can still sense some of his warmth. The same warmth I felt on the day he saved me from that accident. Is he telling me that it's okay to remember him? I look into the distance. I think I can still see his back if I squint really hard. Both my father and I didn't choose the circumstances we were born into. He went on in life, unable to place our hopes in anyone. Yet just as unable to stay away from mankind in general. He walked the same path for a long time. And the library club appeared in my life. That one entity changed me. All of my days now consist of having fun with my friends. Mysterious things happen when people come together. It makes people change, whether they want to or not. That way, anyone could be a shepherd to someone else. Alright. Time to go back to the club room. Shepherds. Who guided me? I guided me. Are all waiting? Blah, 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 talking, talking hard. I've been talking a lot this part. Mm. 
I'm back to, at the library after a quick detour and a tap to wash my face. Yo, everyone instantly turns to me. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't they have better things to do with our time? Who got it right? I see. He's good man. <laughs> Who knew someone guessing what I'd say would make me so happy? I'm not. I ignore Takamina and take my seat. Thanks. It's been a long time since I've had Shidozaki's herbal tea. It smells as great as ever. Oh, here it comes. Uh, back to skipping, apparently. Back! I don't know why, but something I like to do is just right after recording or right after s stop, like pausing the recording, just like from a smile, just uh, completely, just immediately like, go like. I don't know why I like to do that. <laughs> I shake hands with anyone I can find. That was... That, that was worth it. Now we go back. It's almost 10 p.m. It took us up till na then to finish all the interviews and head back home. On my way back, I spy a girl standing in the corridor. Her arms remain firmly folded. Thanks. Shizaki added the worst. Sorry for the trouble we caused. She unfolds her arms after unleashing her insult. Yeah, I gave my reply earlier today. You're welcome. Another, another test for her, huh? Hopefully she can make it. Ma,家計が自分からことわらなくても、いずれにせよ無理だったかもね。年長部のこといい感じになったみたいだしさ。We've got ears everywhere. She pokes her cheek with her finger as she grins. Hmm? Oh, yep. Yeah, that was that. That was you. She bows her head in full apology. Perhaps. <laughs> I don't think their affection was there all along. It was more like a happenstance. Or maybe you could call it fate. Yeah, that sounds even more cocky. Oh. Also something I fi figured out today. Uh, because my little sister was in the living room eating cake after I went upstairs because of the, uh, the risk of the power outage. Because I didn't want my PC to have any problems, so I just turned it off. Because yes, that actually can da potentially damage your PC if it's on during a power outage. So yeah, I just like turned it off, went upstairs, she was eating cake. I was eating ice cream out of like a, like a small little bucket. Like, it looked like the typical, I'm fucking depressed bucket. You know, basically when my brother came in and sh because of the ca uh, cake, Ross and I were like, what flavor? Cake flavor. Uh, a pie flavor, I mean. So he showed it to my little sister. Just that scene, don't worry, nothing else. And then he got curious. When was the first a a ASDF movie released? He looked it up. 11 years ago. I felt so old, like, instantly. <laughs> Fucking, the first ASDF movie was released on Tomska's channel 11 fucking years ago. Let that sink in. <sighs> her eyes make her look dizzy. She continues with her, with her head hung low, and her eyes shielded from my view. The tone of her voice has dropped a notch. 
魔人間になるいうことなしじゃない同類だと思ってたのにどうしてこんなに変わっちゃうんだろうね That's what looks all about. <sighs> うんっていうのが一番理不尽よねあ,あ嫌味みたいになっちゃってごめん気にしないで She quickly smiles again. What are you going to do now? この学園は仕事も多いししばらくフラフラしていると思うそれにまあ何よ都市部のやつらも嫌いじゃないし A tinge of shyness tints your cheeks. Oh, really? いいじゃん別にはいはいじゃあねまたそのうち Good night. Pizza. She sticks her tongue out and pulls down on her eyelid, just like you see in comic books, then rushes into her apartment. Looks like there's no need to worry about her for the time being. I can't really comprehend the path of the shepherd myself, but it's what she has always dre- dreamed of. Her thought comes to me as I stare at her door. If she still wants to be a shepherd, then our bond will only be a hindrance to her as she undergoes her test. In the worst case, she might choose to stay away from us. Whatever the case, we'll probably have less opportunities to talk to her. We're going to be really busy with student council work and all. And if we don't see each other for a short while,、uh, our memories of her will disappear. <laughs> It'll be sad to never hear her shrill shouts of anger again. What should I do? Hmm. October 9th! The intercom sounds off, waking me up from my waking me from my slumber. Who can it be? Probably some door to door salesman. Wherever it is, they're not going to give up. I check the clock in resignation as, as I stumble out of bed. It's 10 a.m. on the dot. The election has ended and the shepherd matter has been dealt with. Everything finally settled, no one can blame me for wanting a nice long rest. Sagrava? That's a surprise. Make my way to the entrance way with added urgency. Morning! Sorry about the mess, I just woke up. I pat down my bed hair as I deliver my excuse. She smiles wryly. What is he talking about? Uh, I slept through the night. Wait, why would, would she even think that I did that? She shows her phone to me. Her screen displays an email from me. I sent this? The email was sent out at 9 12 a.m. The message body simply reads, Come over whenever. Whenever? I think I get it now. I was barely conscious after being woken up by her email, and come over whenever was my response. Or at least it should have been. You must have been confused. I, I, sorry about this. She's trying to be considerate as usual. Give me five minutes, I'll be ready by then. A few minutes of hasty dressing ensues. Thanks for waiting. Oh, yeah, fix that collar for him. Whoops. She fixed the collar of my shirt for me. Anyway,、uh, what did you need? <laughs> I just gotta really want to see like, a game where, he, <laughs> where the person, on purpose, after getting together with a character, just has their collar slightly crooked. Or like their tie not all the way like, zip,、uh, like, not zipped up, like pulled up. I really want someone to just do that on purpose because they want her to fix them. Or fix it. Anyways,、uh, anyway, what did you need? Something that needs drive to say, apparently. That certainly is true. The blue sky of autumn looks distant enough to be part of an outer space. She averts her eyes awkwardly. Just a few mo- days ago, I had her in my arms in this very location. That's when, I declared she lo- that's when she declared she loved me. I was probably set in the heat of the moment. But I want to believe that she th- still thinks so now. Sure, let's go. F- face brightens upon my reply. 
Do you have anywhere you want to go? We found ourselves at the club room 30 minutes later. According to her, we're going to get real busy with student council work soon. We definitely won't be able to spend much time in the library on library club matters. As a result, we need to finish our remaining library club requests as quickly as possible, when we still can. Which we're basically doing by hooking up our requesters with other people in clubs who can help them. Sakuraba's so built up many connections in her time as the library club's facilitator, and they've been a godsend here. I think this request can be handled more easily by the Exploration Club. Oh. A fucking Exploration Club? Huh? What's up? He's been staring at me for a while now. Oh. She goes back to her laptop and continues working. For about a minute, upon which her staring re restarts anew. Looks like she can't focus on her work. You know, if there's something you want to say... Huh? Oh. She goes back to her laptop again, refusing to look me in the eye. Yeah, she's definitely being weird. I would guess, she probably still has the events of that fateful night on her mind. I nice God, I really want him to just like not even like say that he loves her too. And she just like, by the way, Sakuraba. He looks at him. He just fucking kisses her. That's the answer for a few nights ago. Okay. But I know he won't be that smooth. I know he won't be that smooth. I won't. It'd be hopeless if I leave you alone. So I won't. I never did answer her feelings clearly. Hey, Sakuraba. Thank you for everything you did back then. She looks away even as she speaks. She probably knows what I mean. She came to stop me when our club room was about was almost taken over. She takes a few deep breaths and readjusts her sitting posture. So does we're into your feelings? Her cheeks grow redder with each word she speaks. It's time for me to make my feelings clear too. I'm really grateful to you. Wouldn't be here anymore if you didn't come to stop me. So she continues looking away shyly. You can think of it as moving away. I would have managed, vanished from the academy. Yeah, of course. Whoops. Honestly, honestly, at this point, I feel he could literally just say like. Yeah, almost became a shepherd. A tinge of anger lingers in her words. She can get angry when it comes to me. It makes me happy. Yeah, that makes me happier than anything. But she opened my eyes. She had such an impact on me. She taught me that I live in the hearts of others. And she showed it to me from the bottom of her own heart. What I was planning may have looked heroic at first glance. But in the end, it would have been meaningless. If I don't take care of myself, I'd be betraying the people who care for me. I'm glad I didn't end up turning my back on you. I'm well aware, and I apologize for that. Look straight into her eyes. I need someone to help. Help me fill those gaps. So, uh... Will you be with me always, Sakuraba? I like how the English translation is already like so. Scream of surprise in 3, 2, 1. Suddenly stops midway into a sentence. Sh I like so. The space is like so. I guess that would be a pro. Wait, hold on. Have you lost your mind, boy? <laughs> I'm 
I love you too. So, so she slumps over onto the table like a deflated balloon. Her entire neck glows crimson. You changed my life. As a guy to a girl, I find you absolutely adorable. <laughs> She's blushing so furiously, I can almost see steam coming out of her ears. Hold on. This is very tough. This is very, very tough. I, I think at this point, uh, Sakuraba and Kodachi are sharing a spot. Also, I need to do something real quick. Uh, it really is... Nah, mm, I need to consider who is better still. Tamamo or Nagi? Ah, Kodachi is still a bit better. Only a little bit though. They're very fucking close. <laughs> She's blushing so furiously, I can almost see steam coming out of her ears. You don't have to answer immediately. But I do hope you'll take my confession seriously. She straightens herself. It is just my imagination, but the whole world suddenly seems brighter. Thank you. Of course I won't. We stare into each other's eyes for a few moments. Her cheeks are still flushed red. She looks several times cuter than before, somehow. It's weird. I feel a lot more shy now. Uh, Honestly, God, this shit, this shot in itself could be a fucking thumbnail. Also, uh... Robot Eye. Or potentially, uh, hold on, how do I... How do I have to turn? So it's only this. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, uh. <laughs> I did. I I don't know why I went for that joke. <laughs> Anyways, she opens up her fan with a wry smile. I figured the opposite actually. Yeah, it's a matter of work isn't really enough for two. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't bother calling me. You'd handle this by yourself. <laughs> Your smile grows more bittersweet. But still, I'm glad we sorted this out. To be honest, I feel a bit bad about this. Should have been the one to break the ice. This time, her smile lightens into one of pure joy. Hmm? Come on over. She walks around the table and takes a seat beside me. She's now within touching distance. Me too. Our shoulders are mere centimeters apart. Obviously. Would holding hands help? Degenerate. Bastards. <laughs> I lay my hand on the table. She timidly places her own over mine. I can feel her warmth from my palm. From her palm. From her. I can feel her warmth from her palm. There we go. Let's try it again. <laughs> that it is. I fingers that twine. Neither of us want to let this warmth go. I may be dreaming too. <laughs> Yours is warm. Feeling of each other's hands. Hand gives us that lover's vibe that we were lacking. The empty portion of me has been filled with her warmth. I'm starting to feel like we're a real couple now. Her eyes go warm as a smile grows on her face. A smile free of any unnecessary worries. It's smile more beautiful than the glow of the sun. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so happy she's my girlfriend. And at the same time, I want to know more and more about her. Want to go on a date sometime? Date? Okay. 
しかし図書部の残務と生徒会の準備を考えるといつ時間が取れるかあれたまもちゃんとかけいくんドアさんにオープンズリーリングアップウォルダチラザキし、しらさきえたまもちゃんがかけいくんと手つないでるさくらぶれつかうまいはんクレリフラステちがうんだあこれはこれはそのなんというか。サクラバズ・ウォーズ・トレイル・オフ・イント・ナッティングネス。あ、ウィジャス・ビケム・アカップル。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
それで待ちきれなくなって来てしまった、uh, oh. I was shocked first but it slowly replaced by joy This proves how much he thinks of me You arranged to meet in 30 minutes still、uh, How long were you waiting? Kujiko Way too early. Imagine if you did that during winter, you'd catch a cold for sure. That、uh, way, this is some Sakuraba clan tradition to always be ready an hour, or, hour ahead. She opens up her fan. Search, Kake, search the nearest clear table surface and smash your head against it. That's not me being hateful towards him, that's the kind of reaction I would personally have, as I'm just, WHY SHE'S SO FUCKING ADORABLE! Like that kind of reaction. That's something I would do. She blushes like crazy. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm really glad you feel that way. She starts to fan her face. Most of the shops at the shopping district open at 10 a.m. Kinda like the arcades where I'm gonna be having my internship a in a few days. That's still a bit early. I want to have some tea first. That won't be much of a date. You just keep those embarrassing lines coming, huh? Her eyes sparkle. She's full of pride at her stance. I don't know why I said stance like that. Uh, yeah, that's right. She asks a little warily. I feel the same. <laughs> She shuffles over to my side and lays her head on my shoulder. So cute. So she says as she rubs her cheek against my shoulder. I doubt anyone would believe me if I told them that Sakuraba could be like this. <laughs> It's past 11 a.m. and we're now in the shopping district. What do you want to do in your free time? She folds her arms like as we walk. As she walks. Huh? You had a hobby? My back, the back of my neck feels oddly. like prickly. Ah, can't wait to hear it. Kore Kara was say to Kaide Isogash to Narada Roshi. Shumi ni Sakuji Kamo Nakunaruka Mosirena. No matter how busy you get, I think you should still spare some time for your hobby. Spending even ten minutes enjoying yourself while will probably let you focus better when it's time to knuckle down and work. So, Dana Kake no you told you, Kamosirena. A relaxed smile grows on her face. I'll help you out even more with any work you have to. So, let's give our best without pushing it too far. I rub her shoulders, feeling the tension melt away from her. Yep. A delighted smile beams from her face. Cuteness overload compels me to grab her hand. Should be fine, right? We're a couple now. Should I stop? I'm about to let go of her hand, but she suddenly squeezes mine back. The barely audible voice tells me all I need to know. That made a whole lot of sense in the fucking soundtrack, only to start it up again. We continue walking silently through the shopping district with our hands still intertwined. Is this the CG? There may be a few words between us, but I still feel so satisfied. One look at the, the look to the side is all it takes to warm my heart even further. That's how much I care for her. Oh, smells good. Or not.、Hmm. The smell makes me feel hungry. 
I generally don't eat much in the morning. For a girl, it'd probably be something like a beef bowl or a ramen restaurant. Or a restaurant that's mainly aimed at couples. Let's go then. What kind of food do they sell there? <laughs> Onigiri well, I don't see those often. Oops, she pro proclaims the restaurant's virtues with a clenched fist. She really wants to try it, apparently. Alright, let's get going. I mean, Kaka is, apparently is the onigiri uh, savant here. The rice ball restaurant was bustling when we arrived. They've been popular nowadays, supposedly. We eventually finished our meal and left the restaurant after an hour. Man, that was great! <sighs> completely different levels of pre-packaged rice balls. We're completely in dreamland back there. She wolfed down three ba rice balls and all. I've heard that the best chefs can stun their patrons, patrons speechless with the deliciousness of their food. But this is the first time I've actually seen it, seen it happen. Oh, would you look at that? They're currently on a date, and in the background, Ayachi is on a date with Hoshina. Th I, I, it's ve still very hard for me to tell if that payoff, uh, if that build-up had to pay off. It needed, because by God, depression is hit hit, hit hard in that one. Uh. <sighs> she looks down in shame. Oh no, no, that's nothing. We'll get tired if you're if you're always on your guard. We've got a long road ahead of us. And besides, I want to see all the different sides of you. What things you like, what things you dislike, stuff like that. You're very popular and formal when po proper and formal while you're in the club room. So I want to know what you're like when you're more relaxed. That's why I want to know more about your private self. Her unassuming face shows her humility. You're far more attractive than you think. That's why I fell in love with you. It'll be fine. Gently pat her on the head. Oh. I can't. She's not shyly. Her pretty neck grows even redder than before. Try tickling her a little at her nape. By the way, something you noticed before probably is that uh, I only ever do the noises videos for games that have a voice line saving function. Unless it's like one that's so prominent. Like, uh. Kana Yay! Yay! Hold on. Hold on, uh, Kana Suzuki. Let's search that up. First is a bunch of pictures, then her Wikipedia entry, any search, Facebook, MVP, da 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 da. I just check. Okay, so, uh, sadly, she isn't. There is nothing of basically my video being shown when you just search her name. It's kinda sad. You have to also type in goes. Yay! 
Yay! Yay! Yay! Yay! Yay! Yay! Yay! Yay! Yay! Yay! Yay! And this goes on for an hour. I actually planned it for it to be three hours, but for some reason the editing program didn't like three hours, so I didn't put it at three hours. But yeah, basically, if one of you actually have a wish for one of the games that I played that you want noises for, feel free to send me the noises. Like, I will upload any noises videos. That, that, like, there's someone in the Discord channel currently that actually wants, uh, that actually wants a Amanogawa Saya noises video. So he said that he's gonna collect them and send them to me. And I will then turn it into a noises video and upload it. So if any of you have, like, a request like that, like, hey, I want the noises video for this character or for this game overall, since... Character specific noises are so rare that it doesn't really make sense to make one. Like, if you, if any of you have like a request like that, you can go ahead and uh, just put make a collection of the noises and just send it to me via Discord. Or if the via Discord isn't enough, just like put it in Google Drive and send the link of that to me so I can download it, turn it into a voices video. Of course, I will credit you if you want to be credited, and I won't credit you if you don't want to be credited. I will, however, every time when someone actually has requested it and basically donated the noises, call that name the video do donated some some noises. If I still remember that when I actually make the damn thing. I, I, I have to put this in here because I know my own memory. Like, if that... If I happen to not call it donated and you notice... Speak up about it. I will immediately change that. Because I'm just... I'm very fucking forgetful. Anyways, which causes her to jump? A cute little yelp of hers has gotten the attention of all the people around us. Squeeze my hand like a clamp. Sorry, it just, uh, happened. I didn't know you could sound so cute, though. She moves away from my ear. Her eyes look a little watery. But she doesn't let go of my hand. We continue our way forward with our hands still linked. Is there anything else? Anything you want to do? Still too early to call it a day. Shall we go to a cafe shop then? Kyei's to show herself as vulnerable to the public. She can probably unwind in a more private place. My place then. Ah. Keeps pace, pace with me as I lead the way back to my apartment. By the way, you're basically saying that we should go somewhere where we can be alone. You know how that sounds, right? I'm not like that, for the record. <laughs> she grins at me. As prim and proper as she normally is, she does enjoy the odd joke. That's why it's so easy to get along with her. We're back in my apartment. Got up prepared coffee for both of us. I'm staring lazily out the window with a cup in my hand. It's almost one hour after midnight. That sound wording sounds weird. <laughs> the window shopping, random and random food sampling apparently took more time than I thought. The sun's already starting to set. It really does look like I'll only really be able to just put one true ending a day because of the, all the skipping I have to do because the skipping also takes time I have basically I have to I'll have to see the next time I upload one of these true endings like I can't really judge from this one 
Because there's probably a bunch of scenes that have been added that I have to skip again. So I may... So while this may potentially even go on for like three hours, the next one may just be two hours. And if it's just two hours, fine. Okay, I can handle that. Because at the skipping, sure. What's well, three hours? May potentially like sh shrink down to like fucking five minutes if it skipped something. But, but you know what I mean. Anyways, the window shopping and random food sampling apparently took more time than I thought. The sun's already starting to set. Never knew time could pass this quickly. Today seemed so short. So Our exchange was pretty meaningless. Perfect ending to a nondescript day spent together. Somehow it was such a, it was still such a wonderful day. She muttered to herself while sitting on my bed. Huh? <laughs> that night? I suppose she means the night when she came over to stop me. Her smile is bittersweet. Sakuraba. I rub her back in an effort to comfort her. Ma'am, I'm thankful for what you did. Her eyes go warm. I never thought I could love someone like I do now. You're the one who changed me. I pull her next to me. I won't disappear without saying anything. I'll always, always be by your side. If our faces inch closer. The urge to kiss her overcomes me. Why do people f in love want to make contact with their lips so much? Whether it's a, na whether it's a natural instinct or whatever, it definitely is mysterious. <laughs> Lean over her and... Give her light. Give her a light kiss. Her lips are overwhelmingly softer than I imagined. Her moans and sigh make my mind go blank. The sensation of all of her passes through me gently via her lips. Say his name. Thanks. I pull back ever so slightly, but she goes on the offensive instead. She wants me to. Every notion, the very notion lights fire in my chest. Our ragged breaths, our sheer desire for each other. We gently end our kiss. Her face is right before me. I could lose myself into those limpid eyes of hers. You're, all, you're very beautiful. You're beautiful, not very beautiful. Well, I don't know why, why I got the very. Her trans like eyes go warm. And well, and with a smile on our faces, we then lean for forward for yet another kiss. Just, me just being sure here. Just making sure here. Safe. October 13th. Sakuraba and I ended up staying late again today to finish up the remaining library club work. <sighs> she stretches her limbs. That more or less clears it all. Didn't do much. This is your achievement. Sakuraba's so done her absolute best to settle all of the library club's remaining matters before starting our student council activities. Yeah, I did help out here and there, but he was the main contributor for sure. Just glad to have been, here, been of help. Check the clock on the wall. Just hit 10pm. 
It's getting late. Late. I'll walk you home. Yay. Come on, you don't need to be so... You don't need to be so restrained. The words get stuck in her throat. It's like the desire for her to say. You just... あ、その、なんだ。家まで帰ると遅くなりそうだから。だから、今日は家計の部屋にお邪魔しようと思っていたんだ。I'm fine with that. Is that really okay with you? <laughs> so she was planning to stay off from the start, which means. Yep. Yeah. You're not a bother in the slightest. Any plan that lets me spend more time with you is fine with me. It took lots of courage for her to make this offer. Knowing that, there's no way I would have refused. We've just finished our nighttime snack and are now enjoying a cup of tea. Some boring sketch uh, comedy shows dro show drones on from the TV. Not a single word has been exchanged since we finished eating. We're just sitting side by side and staring at the tube. Well, that's not quite right. I may be facing the TV, but my eyes keep traveling to the side. I catch her doing the same. Oh, a short moment of awkwardness. Now, let's change the channel. Reach for the remote control. Oh, our hands meet right over it. Sorry. We quickly withdraw, we quickly withdraw our hands. But, you know, maybe I should just switch off the TV. <laughs> off goes the TV, which sends the apartment into a period of silence. It's definitely adding tension to the air around here. He starts to stir a little. That alone is enough to send a sm sweet smell floating to my nostrils. Can't keep my mind off her shirt skirt. Or her rapidly reddening neck. Sakuraba. She has one hand on my bed. I lay my own on top of hers. <gasps> uh, sorry! I instantly withdraw my hand. <laughs> she puts her hand on mine this time. Tiny beads of sweat. Uh, the tiny beads of sweat on her palm. Tells me volumes about her and how nervous she is. You're probably thinking the same thing. So beautiful. I pat her head. She barely whispers a retort. But it's the truth. I bring my hand down from her head and to her neck. Her body jolts in response. Several goosebumps immediately grow on her neck. Feels even warmer than before. She squirms her thighs together a few times. She leans herself against me. I catch her in my arms. Her upturned gaze bewitches my eyes. Well, you're not as, not as strangely sense-centric as fucking Hoshiori Yumemirai. My god. Oh, I forgot how much... Focus they put on scent in that one for, for some reason. Does it smell like sweat? She immediately ma manages to shake her head while it's buried in my chest. Me too. I think I can hear our hearts beating in tandem. At the very least, I can feel mine soaring in my <laughs> chest. Yeah, uh, hey. Hmm? Want to? She answers by wrapping her arms around my neck. It pulls me toward her. Soft mounds squash themselves against my chest. It may not be as huge as Shirazaki's, but they're plenty big as is. The sensation sends a stir through me. Especially the lower half. Yeah, uh, uh, go ahead. Yeah, that is kind of blunt. Really blunt. Those words break the last strands of restraint within me. Sakuraba! I press my lips against her fiercely while pushing her onto the bed. Fulgore or Flare started playing. Which means sex scene. Which means see you after it. 
but, but immediately back real quick. I, I just want to show you, like, this is this is still not something I need to censor. It is still technically not something I need to censor, but it's fucking full gore or flair. This only plays for sex scenes. So I'll see you afterwards. Okay, so he fucking tied her up all of a sudden. What? Back to this, back to skipping. Sex scene over up till October fourteenth now. But hurts. Hurts. Uh, mm. uh. Safety measures. Hold on. What the fuck? Why is the screen literally just white? That didn't make a lick of sense. Anyways, uh, so yeah, safety measures. That's not what I wanted. Uh, <laughs> a censorship. That there we go. Actually, hold on. Okay. Mm, the sun in my eyes wakes me up. I groggily get up from my bed from the bed. We safe. Sakuraba's voice filters into my ears, but I'm not sure where she is. Little sleepy. Ah, it's not light already. I glance at the nearby clock idly. 6.30 a.m. Isn't, isn't that a bit early for that? I look around for her and eventually find her in the kitchen. She must be preparing breakfast. How wholesome. I expected nothing less, of course. <laughs> okay, I obediently follow her gentle voice and head for the bathroom. How nuzzly and warm this feels. A fairly decent way to spend, some, spend the morning, I'd say. Quick splash of cold water in my face gets me fully awake. Thanks for uh, making breakfast. She turns around to face me. Now that I look at her more closely, she's wearing an apron. Huh. That huh? Where'd that apron come from? Oh, this Ah, always so prepared. She probably planned to make breakfast for me from the start, very start. Dream, really? Ah, Yumeda,同じテーブルについて、同じ朝ごはんを食べながら一緒にテレビを見たりする。特別な会話は何も必要ない。大好きな人と朝の時間を過ごすことが夢だった。Thanks so much of the time we spent together. Her sheer devotion brings feelings of warmth to my chest. Nakagei. Huh? 生徒会が始まれば、今まで以上に忙しくなる。there's one thing that's that, that there's one thing that definitely won't change. We'll help out our new student council president with whatever she needs. It'll be fine. We'll all be doing our best. She smiles lightly. I was pretty forced, even for her standards. Can't help but show a wry smile. If you don't mind, I'll be sure to stay over when I can. <laughs> her old face beams with joy. As I see her vivid smile, I make a vow in my mind. But no matter what happens, we will always walk the same path in life together. October 22. 22. 22, 22nd. Another view, Kodachi. I look up at the stupidly large academy gate with a heavy sigh. I'm supposed to be assigned to another location, cut all ties with this academy, and focus entirely on my test. Kake sent me several emails since the last time we met. I ignored all of them, of course. My relationship with him will only work against my favor in my drive to become a shepherd. Alas! 
とある生徒たちのサポートをお願いします<笑>了解ですどこの迷える子羊ちゃんですか塩見学園の新しい生徒会役員ですはい<笑>なんかちっ What? Hold on, oh, whoops, I forgot to act. I, I, why did I turn this one off? I'm a fucking idiot. I could actually just like go. What? Karela no Nakaniwa, Kongo, Kunio Seot, the Tatskoto Nina, the Jinzai Gak Kumaratimas. Shikashi, Karela Ga Yumeo Tasse Su Tameniwa, Kodachi. Demo, I said, I'm more, what does she know? Koto was written as Kedo. Nanika Monday Gardana? Mushiro. All to go, Janica. Oh, hi, so this is Yanara. She can walk, can sue cotton in Narakedo. Ikimas, Ikimas, but Chiria Tikimaskara. Deva Yoroshku. Kitai stayed you. Kitai saw it. I just can't psych myself up for this for countless reasons. Oh man. Oh well, it's been two weeks since I last saw them. They've certainly forgotten about me by now. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. It's just about time for lunch break. The avenue is full of flowing with students, but not a single one takes notice of me. They're all not conscious of me as long as I don't initiate anything. I can eat down the avenue like the invisible person I am. Ah, sense of superiority and freedom. It's like. The feeling of being liberated from this filthy world. Sup, Kodachi? What? <laughs> Enter the library and stop in my tracks. I ended up here by force of habit. Library club folks, or rather the new student council, are busy with prep work. They've almost—they've most certainly moved to the st student council office. Coming here was completely pointless. Oh well, I've already made my way here. Might as well see what their former club room's like now. Oh. She just opens the door. WHY THE FUCK ARE YOU TWO DOING IT IN HERE?! Just go, just the Kake and Sakuraba just... Fuck. <laughs> uh, quartet of library committee members are walking in my direction. I was re relatively close to them. We often saw each other while performing our library committee duties. We even had a meal together once. Oh yeah, they also helped uh, to distribute tickets for the Shiomi Festival too. Memory serves correctly, that is. Whatever the case, they were as ordinary and boring as you could get. But they were still fun to hang out with. Now a complete stranger to them. They passed by each other. Our eyes never once met. Ne never met meet even once. <laughs> Hearing their voices behind me makes me feel a little conflicted. There's a place I know so well, yet no one around remembers me. That's what it means to cut yourself off from the rest of the world. That's the library club club room. I don't feel like opening the door out of the blue. Instead, I got closer and tried to sense if anyone's there. It's awfully quiet. Doubt anyone's inside. Knowing those folks, any single one of them would be perfectly capable of making a ruckus by themselves. What am I doing here anyways? Just passing by, checking things out while I'm here. Take out a duplicate key after a quick bout of self-derision. Such a familiar feeling. At one point, I was coming here pretty much every day. Those folks kept bringing new stuff in, but the club room somehow managed to always feel the same. It must be really busy here. It doesn't feel like anyone's been here for a while. The scent of books has even more powered every other smell in the room. Ah, I remember this feeling. Stroll around the club room, basking in the nostalgia. Huh, there's a teacup on the table. It's the kind you'd find in a sushi restaurant, except for the uh, for the word king written on it. It's the one I used a little while ago. Now that I'm paying more attention, the, keep up this, keep the teacup is being used as a paperweight to hold down an envelope. What's this all about? Move the teacup upside and take a closer look at the letter. The words Tukodachi are written on the front. It's for me. Tear open the seal and turn the envelope upside down. About uh, ten photos flutter to the table, among with three folded up pieces of paper. These photos are all candid shots of our daily life at the academy. There are ones of us in the club room, the library, the cafeteria. Everyone looks so foolishly happy and noisy. 
The way they've spread out on the table, they look like petals uh, of a dazzlingly beautiful sunflower. So dazzling that I can't bear to look at them. That's stupid. What's the strange sensation in my chest? It must feel like a certain emotion. An emotion that will be a huge obstacle to anyone aiming to become a shepherd. I've put the photos down and tried to recognize, reorganize my thoughts. Dare I find out what's written in the letter itself? I reach for the sheets of paper, but my hand stops inches away. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, it's probably the culprit who thought up this wily idea. Knowing him, reading this won't be the last, least bit helpful for me. But I can't help myself from touching the sheets of paper, at least. What am I expecting? What am I so scared of? My fingers start to shake as I hesitantly unfold the letter. I never knew mere paper could feel so heavy. Dear Kodachi, it may just be another bunch of students to you, but you are special to us. Have faith that we'll see each other again. Kyoto Kake. His handwriting seethes with nervousness. For how much he reads, he sure doesn't know how to write. I'm special to them, you're yeah, right. They've all already forgotten about me. Oh well, I'll go ahead and repay their faith. I have to go see them as part of my work and my test. Hello, nice to meet you. We'll start from there again. A greeting, followed by a self-introduction, then maintaining a suitable distance as usual. A glimpse at the photos from the corner of my eye. Yeah. Those days are a lot part of a long, lost history. <laughs> Who are my words even aimed at now? I never knew my voice could sound so bitter. And now my nose is running. An apprentice I may be, but I'm still a shepherd. In the end, I live in a separate world from humans. Shouldn't. I can't get close to them. <laughs> I open the window for a breath of fresh air. Don't cry, baby. <laughs> the damn cat is sitting on the windowsill! <laughs> He lets her off a creepy wail before jumping into the room. His eyes are completely glazed over. He slowly closed the distance between us, stumbling with each step. He's drunk in the middle of the day! I toss the photos and let her to the side and make a dash for the door. But the doorknob doesn't move no matter how hard I twist it. Pushing and pulling doesn't work either. I didn't lock the door. What's going on?! My back meets the wall in record time. I'm breaking out in a cold sweat. These are goosebumps all over me. There are goosebumps all over me. Whoops. <laughs> Another view and what the fuck is going on? Rishina's custom made alarm rang about 10 minutes ago. Someone's intruded into our club room. We all rushed towards, uh, toward there in a frenzy. Can't be, the window was closed. I haven't told anyone, but the alarm was actually part of a trap. Tra trap made in the hopes of catching a certain a bigger than normal mouse. Let's find out! I'll go in and take a look first. I reach for the doorknob. Who's there? It's a, it's a girl standing there with wise, eyes wide open and a single tear in her, at her eye. Okay. Hmm? Do I know you? The girl's eyes somehow get even bigger. Gotcha! Sup, Kadachi? I really want Kaki to just go like, Gotcha! What's up, Kodachi? <laughs> Kodachi, when did you make that key? Her words trail her words trail off as she freezes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Long time no see, Kodachi. The tear trails down her cheek. But the emotional scene lasts for a mere moment. Her eyes soon narrowly, narrow scarily. Ah, so I really did piss you off. My backup appears with perfect timing. They quickly surround Kodachi. あいちょでも崩していたのか。本当だ。どうして私のこと何言ってるんですか。あ、うん。別に。二週間もどこ行ってたのよ。小田地先輩に怒られないか調子出ないです。そうそうそう。バチとバトしてよ。いや、あんた
So no. Says that Suzuki. I can mean him. And Kodachi. All of them are smiling and laughing. I've been dreaming of this moment ever since Kodachi left. Now that dream has become reality. Couldn't be happier. As I breathe a sigh of relief, I make a vow in my heart. I'll do everything in my power to keep the spirit alive no matter what. October 25th! Please hurry up! I need to take... I need to... Oh, skippable! Uh, skippable! It's nice, it's skippable. After the skip, be back after skippable. Okay, this very much insinuates that they once again made Takigawa the fucking vice president. Are you actually stupid? Uh, anyways, um. So Gaba turns to face me. Yeah, we will. I grab onto her hand and squeeze it. Oh, Takamina goes from bright to gloomy in an instant. Back to skipping. There we go, this is after the credits. It's just this picture and the fin. Good librarian, like a good shepherd. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you next time. For Shizaki's ending. Like I said, I'll see if. There's a possibility of doing two a day, or if I'll have to stay with one a day. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, so funny little thing, I forgot about the appendix story. Whoops. I forgot about the appendix story. I'm very worried. So anyways, I'm gonna just like, do the appendix story real quick. Just edit it on to yellow. I guess I'll have to do some editing at the very least. Oh well, it's been about a half a year since Tom and I started dating. The new year has come around, but the library club folks have been the same as uh, has been the same as ever. You crazy. Oof! Uh, Takamine and I lower two heavy cardboard boxes onto the floor. <laughs> Isn't手伝いをした園芸部からの差し入れだ。今年は豊作だったらしくてな。私たち何かしましたっけ？雑草の木と土作りを手伝ったよ。千里、イモムシを見てキャーキャー言ってたじゃない。覚えてない。S
metal itself wasn't as special as the name su suggests, but her piece struck a chord with the owner of the gallery house, who came as a customer. He's been buying every single painting of Tomamos since then, though she hasn't been cha uh, charging much for them. He's also been introducing her as a newcomer to watch out for in the art media. If you ask me, she's definitely a full-fledged full -fledged artist already. I'm happy for her, of course. But being her boyfriend, I can also can't deny the twinge of sadness I feel about the whole matter. She's got such a bright future ahead of her, especially compared to me. I start to feel like she's getting further and further away from my reach. Lucky Tammy. Skip. <laughs> Scared! Scared! Takamine and Kanasuke pretend to back down and tremble under Tamamo's bold smile. Such a nostalgic scene. Tamamo's been super busy these days, balancing the library club, and her art is no mean feat. Man, she's more fulfilled than before, but we barely have any time to just chat and joke around anymore. She's changing, and I'm not sure what to think about it. Kyutaro. She stealthily appears at my side. Nah, not really. Because I wanted to talk to you, I suppose. Ba Slight flush grazes her cheeks. Her hand slowly grazes against mine. Touch. Shut up! We both flash wry smiles at each other. She caresses my hand one more time, then returns to the hot pot. Hot pot's ready. An array of plates lies in front of the hot pot. There are dishes of pork and several cans of vegetables, providing an explosion of colors. Kanask instantly grabs the plate of meat. ま、待て。まずは白菜と椎茸の芯からだ。出汁が出る。まあな、細かいことはいいじゃないの。いや、こういうものには順番があるんだ。出たなんだ、ベブニョ。失礼な。私はそこまで仕切り症じゃない。適材適所な気がします。うんうん。それに別に鍋奉行って悪い意味じゃないよ。ターモ Tama breaks her chopsticks cleanly and waits. <laughs> Kana uh, Kanasuke just immediately dumps all the fucking meat at w in at once. Just no space for anything else. Done. Or at least tries to. Yes, I dive! Uh, Takamina shoves the whole plate of veggies he's holding into the hot pot. <laughs> Tamo starts to get up. It only took a few more seconds for Tamama to reach her limit. What's that kanji even? Hold the phone. Alright, I have, uh... I have... S th I have gotten some... Uh, like, like, I don't know what to say this. Basically, I ask someone what this means. It's just anger. <laughs> I'm very fucking scared! Help! 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 
She signed places of chopsticks back down. She stands up perfectly straight and reaches for the lights. And finally, the brightest of smiles. The pair immediately get down on their knees and beg. You two are trolling her to begin with. Tamama looks astounded. Notably, not angry. If anything, she seems like she's enjoying, she's enjoying the mood. Anyway, I'll skim the oil off the top of the, so of the soup. Once I'm done, we can try this again. With that, our Tamamo led second round begins. Tamamo and I walk back to our homes, fully satisfied with the hot pot feast. She stretches her arms as she walks. Is that really okay for you? I mean, uh, this is the first time in ages that you've had the time to relax, and it ended up being so wild. If anything, that's probably better for her, just having fun with her friends. She takes my hand in hers. Looks like she picked up on my faint excites. I never had to worry. She'll always be with me. Do I now? Look who's talking. I grip onto her hand as well. January winds are especially cold at night. But the warmth exuding from her hand is all I need. Sweetness of Chinese cabbage. Please put the knife down. Please. Scare. Anyway, sad. Yeah, that's that's she was, that that Sakuraba's red done completely. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh, see you next time. Bye bye. I know I said it like that. Who knows? Mm.